Second Timothy 1 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a, a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. God did not give us a spirit of fear, church. If you have a spirit of fear, timidity, or anxiety, it didn't come from God. I said it didn't come from God. God does not give to his people a spirit of fear. The first step to courage is to remember who you are in Jesus Christ. To, re to remember that in Christ you are strong. In Christ you are victorious. You're accepted. You're justified. You're redeemed. You're saved. Remember who you are. You're forgiven. Your sins are washed away. You are seated with Christ Jesus in heavenly places. You are justified. You are righteous. You were born again to be courageous, not fearful. If you're a child of God, fear should not be in your DNA. Can you say amen? You were born for courage. You were born to do exploits. You were born to do incredible things for God. Can you say amen? You were born for bravery. You were born for strength. You were born to be an overcomer. God has given you his spirit and his spirit is, is brave. His spirit is an overcomer. His spirit is courageous. And if his spirit lives on the inside of me, then I should be all that he is. Can you say amen? You were not born to be a loser. You were born through Jesus Christ and through the power of the Holy Spirit to be victorious over the problems, struggles and trials of life. 